Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm Dirty Dan with Dirty Dan. Fudge. Ah. Brody napkins cut, cut. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Brody. Okay. <laughs> Dirty Dan of Dirty Dan's Media, and today we're doing part two of the wine crate build. <laughs> that thingy, looky there. Okay. I was about to install the graphics card when I noticed it has these two little uh, brackets on the bottom. And if you look closely, uh, they're not going to be able to go through that wood. So I think what we're going to have to do is remove this back metal piece and then uh, modify it so that, you know, I, or probably just cut those off completely. Alrighty, so I've got my lines drawn. Uh, there's another cut that needs to be made right there that I'm not going to be able to show right now because of the wrap. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grind those off, but unfortunately I can't do it on camera because I don't have my cameraman for today. So I made the modifications I needed to make on the graphics card, and it's ready to go in. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, anyways, as you can see, it's going to block a little bit of airflow from the processor, but let's just hope not too much. Okay guys, with the graphics card in, I guess it's a moment of truth just to see if everything uh, actually works. So let's jump the starter pins. Alrighty, and uh, looks like we're gonna be downloading Windows. I'm not gonna run y'all through this part because I don't want y'all to sit here and watch it download for 20 minutes, but yeah. So you can probably tell that the box is sitting a bit lopsided. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put four feet uh, at the bottom, just one in each corner, and then um, we're gonna get to the cable management, but first I wanted to get the feet in and um, unfortunately I'm not going to be casing in the cords, but I am going to put like staples in and zip tie the cables to the staples, so you won't really be able to see it. I'm going to use this piece of pine right here for the legs, and I'm just going to make the legs each uh, two inches. Um, before I do put those legs on though, I'd like to take the graphics card out, uh, just so that it doesn't, um, you know, fl this is the part that's most prone and probably the least secure, so it might flop out when I flip it over to put the legs on, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove that. Put it somewhere else. What a mess, these cables. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna be putting these on each corner. First I'm gonna secure it with wood glue, and then from the inside I'm actually gonna nail or screw, I haven't decided, but with the wood glue, nails will definitely be strong enough. All right, cut the video. so thirsty. Oh crap, we're still rolling. Oops, no one wants to watch me drink Pepsi. Especially Greg. All right guys, so maybe that doesn't look so neat, but trust me, this is about as neat as we could get it. Um, since this is obviously not a legit case and has no channels, you know, that you can't really run the cable so smoothly, but honestly, this is about as clean as the cable management's gonna... Yeah, as far as the cable management goes, we're pretty good. We're pretty good here. Okay, so as y'all can see, the... Cables are pretty well hidden, especially with the new legs. Let's actually 
lower this real quick just so you can kind of get a more frontal view Oops. so yeah even when you get like a more front view of it the cables are still really well hidden which i'm pretty happy with because uh as y'all can see it was kind of a mess earlier Alrighty guys, so we're actually in right now uh, on the wine crate computer. We're just downloading all the updates and stuff. We actually had to get a bootable ISO from the uh, wine crate computer and put it on that NVMe that's in this. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Okay guys, so we got our first boot. This is what it looks like. So I was actually going to kind of go for a red theme, so I'll just be able to use the remote and turn those fans red. But one issue that seems to be going on is the RAM is working like it's supposed to. It's just it's not lighting up, which is a bit of an issue, but I'll figure that out. We're about to run our, well as you can see our idle temps are in the low 30s, uh, which is good because uh, with such a small form factor case, um, usually those temps will suffer a bit, but they look like they're standing pretty strong. Uh, anyways, we're about to run Cinebench, and um, you know, while this runs, we can go ahead and just talk about the system. So I wanted this to be like a mobile editing PC, uh, but I kind of wanted it, since it's going to be a second system and I'm not going to probably sell this one, I wanted it to be right around a thousand or so, you know, just because since I'm not going to be selling it, I wanted it to be pretty affordable. Uh, anyways, the CPU is a Ryzen 7 1700, and the graphics card is a GTX 1060, 6GB. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be really gaming on this, so I could afford to use a bit of a weaker card since I wanted it to be affordable. However, that is still a pretty good gaming card. Um, also, there's 32GB of G-Skill Trident Z RAM, as well as a 2TB NVMe M.2. That was a bit, I'm not going to include that in the price uh, estimate of a thousand because um, a drive of that size is really not necessary. However, it was for me since I can't fit um, any uh, SATA cables in the system or any SATA drives for that matter. Okay, so in test uh, number two, we're going to be looking at the thermals just on stress testing the uh, CPU. And I'm going to go ahead and run a, um, let's go with a 10 minute test. Um, and we'll just see how, um, you know, how the temps do under load. As you can see, it spikes up immediately to uh, 45 degrees Celsius. But um, I'm just looking to see what it like zeroes out at. Hey guys, so we're about eight minutes into the test. And you know, it kind of wavers between 56 and 53 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good. Uh, however, I still do think that I'm going to be overclocking the system later, so I'm definitely going to switch to water cooling. Okay, for this exhaust vent, I'm going to use this, uh, you can buy this at most hardware stores. I found it at Lowe's, but it's like this really nice, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. It's like a grate almost. Okay, so the cups around the power supply came out just a tad bit rough. Um, I was using a crappier jigsaw to do those, not the same one I was using on this. But um, I think that I'm going to be cutting these strips out to kind of like case it in and just give it a lot cleaner of a finish. And also on this side over here, um, I'm going to be casing it in like that all around just so that it looks a lot cleaner and nicer. <laughs> do right now is cut out that outer grate for the exhaust um, and we're gonna be using the grinder for that okay, and the rest of this is gonna be So that side grade is done. I don't really like the way that the nails look, or the screws that is. Um, so I'm probably just going to paint those black, but it'll look fine in the end. Uh, anyways, we got the I.O. shield installed as well. And um, yeah, that casing is almost finished. I just have to put a strip right here and there. Alrighty, we're completely finished with the wine crate build now. 
Let's go ahead and open it up. Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking around this long for the video. Um, if y'all... <laughs> Take it, buddy, I bet it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Um, feel free to like <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking around this long. Feel free to like and subscribe on the video if you enjoy the content. Uh, we're gonna be making a lot more crazy computers and uh, if y'all wanna see that, you know, um, press the little bell icon when you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Um, our next video, we're not quite sure what it's gonna be yet, so leave your feedback, leave your comments. If one of y'all have a crazy idea I like, I might just make it. Uh, love to hear your feedback and um, stay tuned.